Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Can you listen to me? Hello. Yes, teacher. I'm listening. Great. Thank you so much, Hello for confirming. I really appreciate that. So welcome. It's 8 p.m. Good evening. And thank you so much once again for connecting. I can see we are connected as of now, eight students. So welcome. I really hope you had a great day and that you are ready to start a new session, okay? And um, I don't know if you guys have any questions in regards of the platform or any specific exercise that you want to ask before we start the session. Have you had any convenience? trying to access to the platform or any specific exercise that you want to double check? I think we are fine, right? So um, let's see, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus myself. So we're nine connected. Okay, uh, so we're gonna start with our session today, and this is session number two. Yesterday we talked about this topic, which we left pending, and I would like to know if you remember what we practiced yesterday or what was the specific structure that we studied yesterday. So you can open your mic or you can, um, well, simply send a message on the chat to, um, Provide me with any example, okay? Based on yesterday's session. Anybody who would like to um, start? Let's see. Uh, remember, you, you can raise your hand if, if, it, if it is possible. Okay, so this is session number two. Let me start sharing my screen as well. Okay, anybody who would like to participate? Hey, Jose, nice to see you, Jose. Yes, Emma, go ahead, please. Thank you. Yesterday, we talked about passive voice. Uh -huh. and the, we have the first part subject was was or were. It depends on the person who is talking. Uh -huh. If it's first person, second, or third, you can use was or were. And at the end, the verb participle. Right. Okay. Thank you so much for that review or summary you just provided us with. Thank you. Exactly. Yesterday we practiced the passive voice, and you just gave us the perfect explanation. You gave us some. Um, you gave us the structure and you know the type of verb we use. You just mentioned that we use the past participle, right? Good. Any example that you can think about this structure, Jose? Using the passive yeah. voice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my cell phone, my cell phone was stolen. <laughs> okay. My cell phone was stolen. It could be. But it's not true. Here I am. Here I have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an example, right? Okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, when we don't want to mention who did the action, if the agent is not important, then we want to use a passive voice, right? We don't want to blame anybody. So that would be our passive voice. So and we are focused on the, the past passive voice, right? That is why we are using was and where. And we also said that we are using was with um, singular, right? Subjects and then if it is people, if it is like plural, then we have where, right? So let me start with some examples that we practiced yesterday. And I want you to help me with this. I want to kind of like remember, this is number one, mom prepared the food. So open your mic and participate and tell me what is the passive voice of this. Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jose. I raise my real hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the food was prepared by my mom. Thank you. Yes, that's correct. The food was prepared 
by my mom or by mom. Good, thank you. So basically we are now making the object becoming our subject and then uh, we can still say by my mom or it's up to you if you want to mention it or not. Okay, very good. Genaro, can you help me with number two? What is, this is the active voice. What about the passive voice? What is it? Uh, are the employees really the memo? Yes, and what will be our passive voice? Um, I know understand in the past, teacher. Mm -hmm. No problem. So passive voice, remember that we said that we don't mention or it is not necessary to mention the agent or the doer, right? In this case, all the employees is the subject. But then what is the first question, Henaro, is what is the verb here? What is the action verb here? What is the verb? Employees. Read, exactly. That is read. 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 And what is the past participle of read? Okay. What is the past read. participle? Read, exactly. This is a read. verb which the spelling is the same. The spelling is the same. But then the pronunciation changes, right? When is the past participle? In this case, red is the pronunciation, like the color. Color red is the same pronunciation. Now that we are, that we have identified the um, uh, past participle, and we have the memo, which is one uh, thing or singular. So we say the memo was, and then our participle is past participle is red. Okay, the memo was red, and then we can still say by all the employees, okay? So basically we made this change into uh, the subject. Basically our object becomes our subject and the subject or who's doing the action is optional, okay? We can say it or not, okay? So the memo was uh, read by the employees is the answer. I want to mention one more thing that one more thing about this sentence. If you take a look at this sentence, we have uh, this. This is the this is the article. Uh, like we have T H E, and then we have this is uh, T H E. I said all the the employees, and then I said uh, the memo. Did you notice that this small change in pronunciation? Does anybody know why I'm doing this? Or is it very basic for you guys? Raise your hand or send me a message if you know why do we change the pronunciation? Oh, we have a question in here. Why the spelling the first tense or sentence is small? Oh, that would be because it's British English, like from England. That's why. Yes, Angie. Angie? Angie, your it's mic. Muted. Angie, your mic is, is muted. Maybe because that is used to plural and singular. Okay, so that's one idea. Angie is saying that the pronunciation changes between D and the because of the, of the number, plural or singular. Who else has a different idea? Uh, the pronunciation is because uh, one word starts with, uh, with a, I forget the word, with a vowel, uh, vowel and, and the other one with a consonant. Yes, that is correct, Reina. If you guys didn't know about this, if you didn't know about what Reina just said, that is the answer. So please write it down and take it into consideration. But if you already you know, knew about it, awesome. But in case you didn't know, the answer is if, as Reina said it, the next word is start with a the, with the vowel, then the pronunciation is D, O, D, E, O, D, 
employees, the employees. And then the, because the next letter is consonant. Okay, that's basically the, this is a very quick and very basic tip for pronunciation. Okay, you can still say the for everything, but then you will see that American people will tend, will um, use the and the depending on what, you know, the next word. So basically, please consider this aspect because that will help on your pronunciation. Once again, the plus vowel, the plus consonant, okay? Maybe you can write it down on your notes and then you can look for other examples and then you can practice, okay? Let's move on. And then what about number three? Who wants to help me with number three? Read the active and then provide me with the passive voice. Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Just one, we are seven. Oh, I have two people raising their hand. Good, so Angie Jose Peña. Okay, let's listen to Angie. Angie, what is the, the passive boy? The K A was ate by the boy. Mm -hmm. The K, the K was, was, and then the K was, what is the past I, participle? Eaten. Eaten. Very eating. good. Exactly. Eaten. So then we say that cake was eaten by the boy. So we make mm -hmm. sure we use the past participle. And this, this is the past participle of it is um, what we know as eaten. You can say eaten or eaten. Okay, good. So basically, this is what we talked yesterday. And I have some other... Uh, things before I start with, with today's session. I have one, two, three, four more practice examples. Okay, I'm gonna give you three minutes and you maybe want to write it down on your notes and then I want, I want you to share with me these answers. First step, identify the action, the verb, and then make these uh, sentences into passive, okay? Three minutes, go ahead, please. It's okay if you have issues with your uh, connection or device, it's okay. Okay, you can still, you know, chat with us. Now, when you finish, let me know, please. And you can read, you know, these sentences into passive voice. Okay, to the time, let's start. Number one, who wants to share it? Read it, please, and tell me the passive voice. Number one, number two, number three, and number four, like this. Okay, raise your hand, please, to participate. Thank you so much, Emma. Go ahead, please. Number one. The teacher corrected the mistakes and the passive voice. The mistakes were corrected by the teacher. 
Thank you so much, Miss. That's exactly correct. Thank you. So the, mis the mistakes were corrected, right? Were corrected. Good. What about number two? Angie, do you want to participate? I see your hands is up. Go ahead, please. Uh, I, I don't do it right now. Okay, you haven't finished number two. Okay, no problem. Who has finished number two? Yes. All the candy bars were sold by the little boy. Okay, thank you so much. Do you guys agree with that answer? Do you have the same answer? Any, any anything different or the same? <clears throat> uh -huh. Let's see. I think there's a message. Okay. Um, okay. This is where. Okay. Any different answer or do we yes. all agree with previous answer mentioned? I have the same. The same. Can you read yours, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. All the all and the candy the bar was sold by the little boy. All the candy bars was sold. Okay. Uh -huh. First of all, guys, let Angie. Yes, what do you have, Angie? All the candy bars were sold by the boy. Okay, so we have was and where. First of all, this is plural, right? Bars is plural. We have to use where. Second, second thing. Have you noticed this is a question, guys? Take a look at this. We have a question mark. Yes, Reina. Uh, I think that it could be where the where all the candy bars sold by the little boy. Correct. That will be the one. Yes, exactly. We have to make that switch into the auxiliary verb because it's a question. So basically, in this case, we say where all the candy bars sold by the little boy. Exactly. Why do we make that change? Because it's a question and when we want to ask a question and we are using the verb to be, this is the first thing that we mentioned because that is the auxiliary verb, okay? Good. So let's make that change. If you didn't have where all the candy bars sold by the little boy, made the change into this one, okay? What about number three? Anybody? Lauren didn't need any apple. Lauren didn't eat any apples. Who wants to volunteer? Please, okay. Reina, go ahead. Yes, Reina. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't know. Uh, the apples weren't eaten by Lauren. Correct. Um, so the apples or because any apples doesn't sound good. The apples weren't eaten by Lauren. Yeah, you can say that. Where because it's apples is more than one. And what about what about number four? Anybody want to help us with number four? Number four. How is it number four? Osman. Gustavo, Genaro, Andrea, Mar, Cristina, Wendy, Daniel, Stefania, come on, William. What do you guys have for number four? He didn't give the wallet. Mm -hmm. Raise your hand to participate. Me. Okay, go ahead. Please. Uh, the wallet was given by him. Okay, you can say the wallet was given, but if this is a negative four, you can still make negative, right? 
Instead of was, mm -hmm. you can say. Was, wasn't. Well, wasn't, good, exactly. You can say wasn't and that'll be great. Okay, so basically this is what we practiced yesterday about uh, the passive voice in past. And today, uh, well, this is one of the things that I wanted to mention. Remember that in the affirmative form, object was plus where plus very in past participle. In a question form, we made this change, right? We first use was or where, this is exactly like the example we just had, plus object plus very in past participle. And then we need to have the question mark, okay? So we have three, four more examples here. We have active voice and then we have passive voice. So I want to ask for four volunteers to read this just to conclude on this topic or at least on about yesterday's session. Uh, so Hosman, please read number one. Read active and read passive. These two ones, please. Osman, can you read? Okay. The teacher correct the Mr. Case. Uh -huh. The Mr. K were correct read by the teacher exactly thank you so this is what we just said just confirm it right the teachers corrected husband remember when we have this verb this is regular verb guys uh, we say corrected just in case you don't know i think some of you already know about this but it's okay remember that the, the verbs in regular form which end with ed we pronounce it in three sounds right this one, it's a it sound, extra syllable. In case you don't know about that, you can text me. I can send you zone uh, verb list. You can practice regular verbs, uh, T, D, and extra syllable, which is it sound. In this case, we say teacher corrected. Why do we say corrected? Because it ends with a T in its base form, okay? Just in case you didn't know about this, please make sure you apply it. Um, these, um, let's say, rules to pronounce them. Once again, the teacher corrected, okay? Um, let's see, what about number two? Just for you to read, read it, please, because this is already done. Let's see, uh -huh. okay, I have a message here. Okay, no problem, Jeffer. So let's see, another volunteer? Melissa, <laughs> no volunteer, Melissa Alfaro. Read, please. Number two, active and passive. Okay. Did the little boy? Mm -hmm. Passive. Mm -hmm. All of them. What, where all the candy bars sold by the little boy? Good, thank you so much. Let's choose the next person for the next one. Uh, Andrea, Alejandra, please. Thank you. Next one. Andrea? Your turn. No, I saw your hands up. Okay, no problem. Sell all the candy. Passive. All the candy box, little boy. Okay, what about the Lauren one? Lauren didn't eat. Christina, go ahead, please, Christina. Number three. It's a number three? Yes, please. Lauren, didn't? All apples were eaten by Laura. Thank you so much. And we finished this one. Let's see, volunteers, guys. Come on, I want you to volunteer. Who wants to read the last one? My teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Active. He didn't give the wallet. Passive. The wallet wasn't given by him. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So basically, this is it about previous topic uh, practice or review. Now we are going to move on to session number two. We need to uh, start 
working on some other uh, conversation and pronunciation. Before I get started with this, um, guys, do you have any specific question about any exercise that you might have had inconvenience on the platform? Or are we okay with uh, the exercises? Are you working on the platform? Are we fine with that? Yes, with me, teacher. Yes, Daniel. That's not, not, nothing uh, wrong, so far so good. In case you have any specific question, I will appreciate if you can let me know so we can go over you know, in class. Why do I say that? Because sometimes the same question is for uh, many of you and then we can clarify it as, as, as a class. All right, so let's move on then. We have uh, today this, uh, well, a topic about pronunciation. We're gonna talk about how to pronounce letter O. We know that in Spanish, we only have five vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U, and that's it. But then in English, it's different. English has more than, uh, I would say more than 20 sounds, vowel sounds. And then we have to um, know how to read it. And then we have to also practice it because it's not the same when we speak English. And well, we're gonna keep talking about, you know, passive and active voice in conversation. So let's get started. We have our first exercise here, uh, reviewing once again, uh, the passive voice. I think we are fine with this. So I'm going to move to the next, next one. This is only passive voice reviewing, um, passive and passive, right? Um, I want to go, this is what I wanna talk today. Okay, this is what I want to focus. How do we pronounce this letter? Do we say not or not when we want to make negative? You see, this is one sound. Uh, well, this is one word. We have here the, the letter O, but then when we pronounce it in this specific word, we do not say not, we say not, like uh, uh. No. Even though it's an O, like spelling, then we don't say no, we say not, not. Top, same sound, top. Okay, top. And this is the second one we have without the letter. The third one without the letter T is no, as you can see the pictures, no, O, there's an O sound, no. And like in don't, don't. It's not don't, it's like don't, there's a O sound in between. Okay, and then uh, this one is O, but then we don't say do, we say do, as in food. Whenever you see this sound like U and then you have a column like this, this the sound is long, do, U, Fu, U. So basically we have, even though it's a letter O, then we don't say O for all this, the pronunciation changes, okay? And then we have next two ones, we have one and love. The sound is like an A sound as well. This is an example, guys. I know there are many more words that you, we can go over about O with the spelling O and different pronunciation. But then my recommendation, my quick recommendation is this. Um, well, if you don't know exactly how to pronounce any specific word on or O, now we have the blessing of having the technology, uh, you know, right, uh, you know, let's say in our easy access, let's say. And then we can like check how to pronounce the O, either by uh, consulting or checking this on a dictionary or simply by listening to it on a, in a specific or you know reliable app. I always suggest using two phonetics. I can also share this info you know, on, the, on, on the chat in case you want to have it. This is like uh, from a very reliable source, we can consult, we can check. And then, so you know, we don't have to be pronouncing all the letters all as one sound, because there are, there are more than one sound when it comes to pronounce this spelling. I want one volunteer to pronounce the first two letters, the first two words. Who wants to try this first one? Not. Thank you. Next one. Not and top, top, not top, right? It's top, top, not top. 
Thank you. What about Melissa? Would you like to try with the next two ones? These two ones? No. New. I don't know. Please don't. New. Don't. 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 It's not don't. It's don't sound don't. very quick. Don't. Exactly. Don't. 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 So you don't say when you are speaking English, you don't say, hey, do you want to go out? No. You don't say no, you say no, like English. No. Say, no, oh, no. Do, don't, don't, don't. Like don't. rounded. Your, your mouth and your lips are rounded. Don't. No, ooh, like you rounded. Don't. don't. Okay. That's really essential. We include those little details in our pronunciation. And then we have do, and then we have food. Okay, and then it's a very common to find double O pronounced as U sound. It's very common. I'm not saying it's always like that because it's not like that always. But then uh, like this one, food. Can you think about any other word when you have double O and you pronounce it as U? Any other word? Look. Look. Wood. Look. Wood. Good. 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 Okay, what else? Understood. Understood, yes. Good. Nice. Foot. Foot, yeah. The, the Look. Look. Okay, you see, you can. No, say tooth. Tooth, yeah, that one, that is really good, too. Okay. Awesome. So you can see there are many more no. words. Mm -hmm. Okay noon like afternoon right good as you can see there are many of these examples and then we have to be very careful not to pronounce u when because there are some words for example how do you say puerta in english door, door. door. exactly it's double long but we don't say door right so let's be careful on that and that's why i always suggest making sure the pronunciation of, of specific words so we don't make the mistake or generalizing this rule and like maybe piso, you don't say floor, you say floor, right? And then it's, and it's double O, for example. Then my tip is not to generalize everything, but to make sure the pronunciation. And when you know the pronunciation, you want to exaggerate. Because English sometimes needs to be exaggerated when it's speaking, okay? And uh, what else? This is what I wanted to share. And I have some other words here. So let's see. Give me just a minute. What, what else I have here? Look at this one. Okay, very common ones. Luck, done. Luck, done. Like I'm done. I finished. Okay, have you done any? No, done. This done. Done. Soon done. we have soon. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. I like. I like uh, this one. Mm -hmm. Wrote. 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 Right. Why you don't say right. uh, like there is an u sound? I like it right. because wrote. You don't say rot. Right. You don't say rot. Right. Wrote. Right. Wrote. Wrote. Right. Right. It's an o, but like a, a company with an u sound. Wrote. Wrote. Right. Right. I wrote you a letter. I was so falling in love. That I wrote right. you. A, I wrote a letter to my mom last week. Wrote. Wrote. Ooh, wrote. Okay, what about next one? We have the very come. Come. The come, like come, come. Come, here, come here please. You don't say come. 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 You don't say come. Come on, please. You don't say come. come. You say come here. Come. Uh, come, here. Uh, come. Come here. It's come. very, you don't say it's very, it's very hot. You say it's very hot. So this is, you know, this weather is hot. You see a chick, you say, oh, she's hot. You don't say she's hot, right? You say she's hot, uh, sound, right? And then, who, 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 like who. even though it's a letter O, we say who, who the hell and blah, blah, blah. Who are you to say that to me and, and so on. So these are some really quick, you know, words that I can, I can provide you with just to illustrate, you know, the pronunciation of this this vowel o, which give us this variety of differences between uh, one word to another. So once again, it's not the letter; is how to pronounce it, and this is the way English works. 
Now, um, what are we gonna do? This is, I'm gonna give you, uh, let's see, five minutes. And maybe I'm gonna go back because take a look at this one. Maybe you want to screenshot or you want, maybe you already have it. And then take a look at this one, second one, screenshot, or maybe if I take a photo, you know, and then this is the challenge. Pair work, think about one scenario, create a shared conversation using at least four words from the pronunciation practice. Okay, so I want okay. you to use these words, these two words, these two lists of words, choose four, and then use them in a conversation. What conversation? You decide, whatever comes to your mind. So do you want to improvise it or do you want to, you know, maybe think about it? I think because we haven't had the time to talk to and interact in small groups, I'm going to send you guys in the, like on the rooms and try to speak and use these words. And if you can create a conversation, it'll be cool because once we come back, we are going to share. I'm gonna give you five minutes. Maybe you want to interact a little bit and use the words and then try to challenge yourself to use the words in, an, in a conversation and then we talk, okay? So, here we go. I'm going to create groups of uh, maybe, uh, what, three or four, the most. Try to use the words. Here we go. We are 18. So let's see. I can create uh, six groups. Here we go. Practice. Take advantage of the time. Here we go.
Hello, Wendy. Did you practice? Hmm. Hello. Hello. Me sacó del grupo, no sé. <laughs> Porque estaba practicando. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> But did you practice? Did you get to know your peers a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. Okay, nice. I know I gave you five minutes or less, I think, with the intention of giving you some time to practice. Uh, speak, speaking, actually, you know. Let's see, let's wait for the other ones to return. All right, okay. I really hope you took advantage of the time and you had some practice, okay? Maybe you talk to your peers, try not to speak Spanish when you are sent to the rooms. No, Spanish, okay? English, try to keep it in English. Don't start speaking in Spanish, okay? I was monitoring some and I, I don't want to hear anybody speaking Spanish especially here because this is a like intermediate three. So you guys know how to speak the language already. Okay, so two volunteers, two group who would like to volunteer to improvise a conversation. And if you can use the words, we just practice with the O sounds, O, O, and blah, 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 ah. So please go ahead. Let's see. Uh, we are going to pass me Thank and Emma. Thank you, go ahead, Reina. Okay. Hi, Emma. Did you do your food for tonight? Hi, Rena. Well, not. I didn't prepare my food today, but I will do it. Okay. Will you prepare your food as soon? Yes, I will prepare my food soon. And you came here today and we can eat together. Okay. Well, I think that I can, but probably I will prepare my food on my own. Okay, so see you later. See you later. See you later, alligator. Good, thank you so much. I could hear the words you were, you were using, you know? Thank you so much for such a great job, ladies. Appreciate it. Anybody else who would like to participate? Just go ahead and speak English, okay? The idea is to practice. Hey, Angie, how's it going? Nice to see you. I didn't expect to see you here. Come on, speak English, you know? That's the idea. Try to use your English and, and make it, you know, better by practicing. Yes, who wants to participate? Okay, I see. Okay, so we need to move on. And really hope next time you guys participate voluntarily. Okay. And Angie, you want to practice? Okay, good. Who's your partner? Angie? Your partner? Your mic? We don't don't talk about a conversation. We talk about a, a sentence, it, but we use uh, the four words you ask us. In the past lockdown, I wrote a book about the food. Okay. In, during the pandemic, right? <laughs> Which is still... <laughs> Okay, thank you. One more? Who else was with, with you? Anybody else? Who else was in Angie's group? Um, 
Okay, so let's do something because I really want to finish uh, what is prepared for today. And this conversation is on your platform. If you have access to it already, you can see that is this is a copy paste from the platform. But I want to practice it with you to check on pronunciation, to check on vocabulary, and I want to you know take some time. First, I need two volunteers to read it. Only reading it. Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you. We have one and then William, right? Daniel and William. William, you are B. Okay. Daniel, you are A. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. William, hello. Oh, okay. hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The Europe Union. I think the euro is used in most of the U US. All oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you are a travel agent, are not you? I don't see you. What? This is hair salon. You have the wrong number. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I thought I was calling to a travel agent. Okay, good. My first question. Any vocabulary you don't know from this conversation? Is it clear? Or any specific one? Quiero ver. Mm. Creo que no, teacher. Yeah? Good. Easy, right. What about, mm -hmm. let's see, let me ask. What is El Salvador's currency? Legal currency, official currency. Dollar and Bitcoin. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> or you agree with Bitcoin? <laughs> yeah. Uh, legal. Right. Legally. Yeah. That's the currency. Yeah. Yeah. It's they it. are currencies. Exactly. We have the Bitcoin. And then, yeah, we have to accept it. Even though we don't, we don't want to, I mean, it's okay. Good. And then my second question, any vocabulary that you want to double check on pronunciation here? Or is it okay? Awesome. Okay. I like it. And then my third question is, can you tell me where the passive boys have been used in this conversation do we have any passive boys here or not yes i think yes. i think they were used in most of the united states and in most of the things to tell me about no eu is european union oh okay european union mm -hmm. Okay, so you're saying this one is uh -huh. just okay. Where else? Any other, anything else here? In the the mm -hmm. which one? Uh, the answer thing is is spoken. Is there. spoken. Okay, yes, like in a question four, right? It's spoken. What else? See it, or do we have any other? Are they accepted everywhere? Yes, are they ac accepted everywhere? And Good. Uh, what currency is used? It's used. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Right. Do we have any other, or that will be it? I don't oh. think it. The ground number. Oh, wrong number. No, that would be just wrong number is not passive voice. Why? Because there's no verb to be and there's no action or there's no verb in here. So that would be just, you know, an expression, wrong number. 
Mm -hmm. Now, um, so we have is used, is used, is spoken, are accepted. Is this passive voice in past or does it change? What's different from the example we- Simple present. Exactly. This present. is present, exactly. We don't have where, we don't have was, we don't have weren't, we don't have wasn't. We have is and we have are. Good. And that means that That's this past. is passive voice in present or present passive voice. Okay, and we can use is because you know, instead of saying was, we use is, and instead of saying where, we use are. That's the only thing that changes when it comes to speak uh, using the passive voice in present, okay? Now, I want you to give me, I'm gonna give you two minutes. Create one example, one affirmative, and one in question using passive voice in present, like, like it is in present, present form, present tense. Two examples on the chat or maybe open your mic. Two minutes. All right, so whenever you have your examples ready, guys, please let me know. You can start sharing them on the chat or maybe you can open your mic and go ahead and, and share them with us. It's just the present passive voice, okay? So who wants to start volunteering? Hmm, okay. Just go ahead and send it on the chat if you would like to. Yeah, we have one here. Let's see. Is the bank opened at 6 p.m.? Mm -hmm. I like it, Jose. Yes, there you go. That's the attitude. One more example. He is drawn. He's drawn. Uh, hmm. Maybe Wendy, we want to change that one. We can say a mountain is drawn by him. The car is made in Japan. That one is okay. The sun is on by my sister. Yeah, Gustavo, I like it. Yeah. Is the is the sweater? Is this sweater uh, made? In El Salvador, yes, yes, sweat. Okay, hmm. that, can you check, Melissa, the spelling of sweat, sweater? Uh, let's see, Jenny. I I am learning this in class. Hmm, Jenny, that one needs to needs to be changed. The thing is that you're saying I am learned, and then it will maybe you want to say English is learned by me <laughs> if you want to still say. Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. then, yeah. The car is used instead of the bicycle. I like that one. To save money. Thank you, Melissa. Yes, that's correct. Daniel, this letter is written by Daniel Canizales. Okay, good. And it's for one of my girlfriends. <laughs> okay, good. What else? Let's see. 
the car is crashed in the night. You can say the car is crashed at night. Okay, good. Nice. I can see this is an easy topic. We have like, let's see how much time we have left. Four minutes. Okay, so can you please, can you please, um, can I have one volunteer to read once again this conversation, guys, so we can finish? Uh, I need maybe two more volunteers. A and B. Who wants to volunteer? Thank you, Christina. Me. And okay, we have the two one. Christina, you are A. And Jenny, you are B. Go ahead. Me. Okay. A or B? A, you are A and then it's okay. You can start right now. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the Euro Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the European Union. All right, and is in and is English pop much there? I I really have no idea. How well? That, how about credit cards? Are they assets everywhere? How well, How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is higher. This is hair salon. You have the wrong number. What? What? This is hair salon. You have the wrong number. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I like it. Thank you so much. We have uh, basically this conversation. European, 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 European. Accepted euro, euro. The the currency euro, euro, and accepted. Remember, accepted. It, it because accepted is in the past okay guys well it's like two minutes uh so we finished that class i don't know if you have any questions or anything that you want to ask before we leave hey teacher do yes. you send the presentation the presentation no but i can share it on the on the group Okay, uh, remember that this class is also recorded and um, is sent to your channel if you wanna watch again the class. But if you want the class itself, I can convert it into PDF and I can send it to the group in case you can you want it as reference. Okay, that's not a problem, okay? So it is always a pleasure, guys. Please try to study. Don't leave everything by Friday. I start working. And if you study, if you find any, any like maybe a spelling mistake or whatever is needed on the, on the exercises, please let me know. I can help you with that. So thank you so much for connecting. Have a good one. Take care and see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Right, bye. -bye. bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.